Just about to sit down. All right, we'll take questions for Aaron in the chat. First question comes from uh, Rico Cooney. Hey, Aaron, how you doing today, man? I'm doing well. How are you guys? I'm doing good. Hey, uh, talk to me a little bit tonight about um, a game that I thought maybe you uh, probably controlled more of your destiny as far as your success in uh, putting up points and just all around play. Um, it was just <clears throat> a small piece of the puzzle. I may have scored more than other nights and, and probably it's one of my better nights, but I'm, I'm, I'm a team guy. I'm all about, I was that the focus to today was just to get a win, you know, anything we could do to get a win. And that's anybody that comes to Michigan state, that's the standard we're held to. And I don't, I mean, I mean, I, I set a, a career higher for myself. Yeah, that's fine. And dandy, but I want to win. That's all. That's all I care about. Was there that's anything great. going into tonight's game that was different for you? Just the drive to win, uh, starting 0-3 in the Big Ten and my drive to win and Coach Izzo holding me to that standard. Nothing different. Nothing different. Okay, thank you. We'll go to Chris Solari. Aaron, those final few minutes, um, you know, maybe from the 10-minute point on, you went scoreless, um, but they, they drew in close there. I, I guess kind of walk us through the huddles in those final few minutes of what you guys were talking about defensively that, that needed to be done and, and what you saw on the court. Um, just to, to continue to fight, we built a nice lead. I felt coming out early in the second half and just, I don't want to say letting them back in the game, but every team goes on runs. But are we going to sustain the run? Are we going to punch back? Are we going to fight back? Those are the moments that we have to grow. And being on the previous two teams in the past two years and seeing in those moments how people led and, and I in the same way, that's, I feel like it's my job. It's my duty as a leader, you know, and a captain on the team to, to hold guys to that standard, to understand that winning is the only thing that matters at this place. And, and we have to do that on the defensive end. And in those huddles, we have to win those huddles, being positive and understanding the job at hand. We go back out on the court. Was there any point in those final minutes where, where you had to kind of say, we are winning this, we're not going to lose? Absolutely. You know, it's, it's start, you know, it's, it's, you win games up with, the, with scoring the ball and stuff like that, but those games are won, you know, in the, in the locker room, preparation in the hotel, on the bus, you know, on the plane, you know, that's, that's, those are the most important places that we have to devote ourselves to, to get a win. You know, are we focused, are we locked in, are we addressing the things that need to be addressed prior to and on the game? We have carryover from those places, including practice. All right, we'll go to Lindsay Huddleston. Hey, Aaron, uh, I'm just curious, uh, the flagrant foul you were on a receiving end of, I mean, you went from maybe missing an open dunk, you get a flagrant foul, then you're going to have a career night, maybe in some NBA game field. Does that foul have an impact on your state of play? Uh, no, sir. Uh, I just feel like um, it was just happened to be, a, I got hit, I got caught. I didn't feel like it was intentional. You know, it didn't stir up anything for me. And it's just, I just tried to compete and win the game. That's that's all I tried to do tonight is just win. You know, that's, that's all I want to do. Okay, a little bit tougher one for you. For all the haters out there, when people say, why don't you play like that all the time? How do you respond to that? Um, Just just stick by that. And, and I'm going to keep trying to win. I'm going to keep fighting. They'll say what they want. I'm me. I'll always be me. I don't care what nobody says. I'm a, I, I, I'm not with me. All the, I'm the only one that wakes up with me. I don't care what anybody thinks. All right, I got it. Thank you. Our last question for Aaron will come from Kyle Austin. Aaron, wondering what you thought of uh, how AJ handled himself tonight in his first start, and how did your offense uh, maybe look a little different when he's running the show? Uh, he did a good job. He did a good job distributing the ball, getting to open, making plays, getting to the rim, becoming available. Um, he's he's very intelligent. He has a good feel for the game, and um, he's the sky's the limit for him. And he's only going to grow as a player. And and that's a, a guy that coach has been wanting me to kind of be with the whole lot. And I'm glad that he's got the opportunity that he did. And man, he stepped up big time tonight and he won't show up on the stat sheet, but he did a lot of good things for us. All right, we do have time. Brendan, you're good. <coughs> you got me, Aaron, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, yeah, just another one on AJ. Um, you know, just in terms of, 
the actual offense kind of built on Kyle's question, like the actual offense, when you would get into the half court and things like that, what, what differences do you see um, when, when he is out there and, and the decisions that he's making with, with the ball? He's, he's a great decision maker. He has a great, great feel for a game. And that's just some things you can't teach, you know, and credit to him for stepping up in the moment and, and being prepared and, and, and doing well. Honestly, I mean, obviously he has places to grow on, on, on both ends of the court and, but he's, but the thing is, he's willing to learn. He's willing to grow, and he's 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 willing to listen, you know. And that's that's what's going to carry him a long way. Thanks, Aaron. <laughs> all right, Aaron. That's all we had for you. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank you. We'll have a coach here shortly, Matt.
All right, this time we're joined by Josh Langford. We'll take questions for Josh in the chat. Lighting's bad. Yeah, lighting's not great, Josh. <laughs> yeah, Lee, I can't even see myself. First question, we'll go to Lindsey Huddleston. Hey, JL, how you doing? Uh, good shooting tonight. Good, how you doing? I'm Thanks. great. Uh, saw you hitting the floor. Talk about what it means when you guys start slapping the floor. You don't do it all the time, but... It seemed like that was a part of, uh, of the storm that was to come. Well, I mean, I, I think that's what, you know, when you look back at all the great Spartan, um, Michigan, well, great Michigan State teams, well, really every Michigan State team, that's kind of in our DNA, you know, slapping the floor is, is us making a statement saying that, you know, we're here, you know, we're going to play Michigan State basketball. And I think we, um, we didn't necessarily do that for 40 minutes tonight, but we put together – uh, Michigan State basketball for, you know, more than we have been uh, in the past games. And I think this is a great, um, a great step in, you know, moving forward um, in our season and just in our team. All right, great. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we'll go to Chris Solari. Hey, Josh, can you kind of walk us through those plays towards the end, um, your offensive board, and then the one that you got blocked on that, that Thomas finished? Uh, how, how much emphasis was there for you guys in, in crashing the offensive glass uh, the last few days? Um, I mean, that's that's always the emphasis for us because, you know, that's a part of our staples along with um, running and defending. Um, so, you know, we, we definitely wanted to be the aggressor tonight. You know, we didn't want to necessarily get punched in the mouth first. We wanted to bring the hit. And, you know, I'm not sure – I'm not sure if uh, – I mean, actually, they we still got out rebounded, um, which is somewhere we still have to get better at. But at the end of the day, I think we did make progress, and that was just kind of you know our you know our mindset, you know, for tonight is just coming and being aggressive. So, and on the other side of it, how do you feel the ball moved tonight, uh, particularly with AJ up front? I think the ball moved well. Um, I think we, you know, that was kind of in our. You know, in coaches' keys before the games, you know, he discussed passing up a good shot for a great shot. And I definitely think we got a lot of great shots tonight. Um, they didn't fall, but they will fall. And so it's not necessarily being worried about the misses. I think it's, it's more or less us being focused on the fact that we're getting those great shots. And eventually they're going to fall because we have great shoes on this team. So Next, we'll go to Rico Cooney. Hey, Josh, how you doing, man? Good, how you doing? Good, I'm good. Hey, um, talk to me about, uh, I guess, you, you know, Henny hasn't had bad games, what you would call from before, but tonight he had one of those very good games. Talk to me about um, maybe you being a veteran and helping him understand that he can be a tone setter in the success that you have in games going forward. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, that's obviously you've seen what he's capable of uh, tonight. And that's kind of what, you know, we've been emphasizing, you know, with him, you know, just kind of give him that confidence and that encouragement that, hey, man, you, you're a great player. You know, you can do the things that, you know, they can really give us a great lift. Um, you know, you, you know, for example, you know, he kind of got hung, you know, on that one dunk in the first half. But I kind of just told him, like, man, keep being aggressive. That's what we need. You know, it didn't matter. It didn't matter the fact that he got hung. I was just excited that he was being aggressive. And, and that's what we need out of him because that's the type of player that he is. That's the type of influence he can have, you know, on the on the team and just on the game within itself. Okay. All right, thank you. Yes, sir. Anything else for Josh? All right, Josh. See nothing. I'll say thank you. You're good to go, man. All right, thank you. Thank you, guys. All 
All right, we're joined by Coach Izzo. Coach, if you can unmute yourself there. All right, man. All right, Coach, if you want to start us off with an opening statement. Yeah, I'm not as happy as I should be. We won a, we won a game, you get off the snide, but at the same time, um, you know, we had a 17, 18 point lead and we have to figure out a way to, to get through that. There were some really good things. Aaron was, I thought, best game of his life here. Because I it wasn't just his offense. So he hit a couple threes, he drove the ball, he went off two feet, he guarded, he rebounded, he ran his lane, he should have had a dunk, he could have had 30. Um, really pleased with Aaron. I thought Josh started out driving the ball, making some good plays. I was pleased with him. I, you know, I, I thought AJ played pretty good for his first start, but he's got to, you know, he's got to play defense too. And uh, that's what we're working on. I thought Rocket came off the bench, you know, he jacked two threes because it was the end of the half and end of the shot clock. So his stats look worse, but I thought he did a damn good job considering and and uh, not easy to just come off the bench. I thought he was good. You know, Gabe did what he could do. I wasn't as happy with our bigs. You know, Malik did okay. Joey struggled, uh, got a tooth knocked out, and that probably had something to do with it. Um, but I wasn't as happy with our bigs, but they put a lineup in there at four gu five guards sometimes, and and uh, that made it difficult. So we got our first win. We're going to have to get a lot better. We did some good things. We're still not defending like I think we're capable of. Questions? We'll start with Matt Charbonneau. Tom, obviously, we saw how Aaron played tonight. Um, did you sense a difference from him, whether it was confidence or just a aggression? Or, or what was different about him tonight than what we've seen so far this year? Well, I just told him that he did what we've been telling him to do. You know, he drove the ball. He went off two feet. He has worked hard on his shooting. Tonight he made some threes, but without those threes, he still has 20 points, you know. Uh, the other things he did, I mean, he's getting to be now my best lockdown defender, which I thought that's what I thought would make him more of a Gary Harris type player. Um, so I was pleased with, uh, with him, and I think he was pleased. And I think he understands that – you know, those are the things you got to do if you're going to be a, a big time player. I mean, he checked the box four for five from the line. Um, only had four rebounds, two turnovers, one assist. You know, I thought we did a pretty good job with our turnovers until we got a couple late. Um, and Aaron was, Aaron was a stabilizing factor. He was the best player and that's what he should be. And I was pleased with Aaron. And, and you said you wanted to get to the line more. Obviously, it seemed it seemed from from the outset that that was a goal. Guys were being a little more aggressive getting to the basket. Did you do you like the way they played in, in that? I did, I did. You know, we had thirteen free throws this the uh, first half, and I thought we were very aggressive early. Then I thought the second half we came out like gangbusters, and then we went very passive, and we didn't shoot free throws again until the very end of the game. So that was disappointing, and and that's what I'm trying to teach these guys. You know, we're at Michigan State. You know, winning a game at Nebraska, there's no insult there. I mean, we know they're not as good, although they've given, you know, some teams a game. They didn't give Ohio State one, but they, you know, the Michigan game was was close most of it. And uh, not sure who else, but uh, that's not what we're looking for. And that's what I try to tell my team. You know, we're, we're not finishing the job right now. You know, 17 point lead should end up 30. And especially the way we were playing and we came out and, Gave up a couple of threes, and we're just letting teams shoot too well against us, and we've got to change that. We'll start with Chris Alari. Hey, Tom. Uh, real quick, you mentioned Joey had a tooth knocked out. Was that yeah. in, in this game, or what happened? Yeah, early, early in the game, first mm -hmm. half. Um, I don't know how it happened, but it fell right in his face, I guess, so. I got to give him a little slack on that, but, uh, um, you know, he's missing some shots. Foster, we missed three or four threes in the first half from my best shooters, and that would have changed the game too. So, I, I, I again, I think there were enough good things, Chris, but I still don't feel great about, uh, 
you know, our transition defense, they just, although the way they call it now, you just, it's like bowling, you know, let's put up the pins and just run a ball through and put your head down and run through and then call foul. I mean, I hate that. I hate that, but that, that hurt us and we didn't do a very good job of it. And, and just along with the bigs, I mean, there were a couple points where Kithier kind of, kind of had some big plays for you guys though yeah. and crashing the offensive yeah. boards. I guess kind of what did you see in his night? Kithier has been my most solid and steady player. And uh you know I uh he's this you know the smartest guy because he's the veteran and uh he knows how to guard things and play things although he made a big mistake on a three day hit late but you know they were in there sometimes at the end with five guards in there. You know Levin played the five and he's a, a three man. So uh, that was a little difficult for us. Um, so I, I think Kithier in general, I don't know exactly what his stats were. Uh, you know, he only had four rebounds, but I, I think you're right. He was three for three, one for two from the line. His defense was pretty good. And as you said, I think he had a couple big plays. And uh, so I, you know, was pleased with, with Thomas. Go to Lindsey Huddleston. Hey, Tom, a good outing tonight. Uh, you were very adamant with us the other day about some changes you were going to make, even responsibility you were going to take on. Uh, we couldn't watch you play. Excuse me, we couldn't watch you tonight, but the commentators were going crazy about you on the sideline. Can you talk about your emotional engagement tonight and how that may have been a little different? Well, you know, I mean, there's a lot of young guys on my team, new guys, and, you know, trying to take things in stride the best I can. But... Um, as I said the other day about softness in our society, and you know, maybe I was getting that way a little bit. I'm not going to get that way. Ain't going to happen here. Um, and uh, I, I think you're right. I mean, we we got after some guys today because we're going to learn how to play harder, better, longer, stronger, and and yet defensively, we still got a ways to go. So, you know, I was pleased with the changes. I mean, it, it was nobody's fault, as I said. And make sure everybody understands that. You know. Um, and I think, uh, you know, I, 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 I got to get rocket. Now we got to work them in. It just happened that, uh, Gabe and, uh, I mean, uh, Josh and, and, uh, Aaron played so good and they played more minutes, uh, rocket played 15 or so, uh, down a little bit, but he'll get those minutes back. I don't see his minutes changing. I just hope to see him at the, at the, uh, to a little bit more. The problem we had tonight was AJ got tired and AJ and and Frosty still don't guard real well. Rocket guards real well. And so I'm still playing him some at the point. And uh, but I think he was cool with that. He actually was good. And he hit some big free throws, hit a big three, hit a nice runner. I was pleased with Rock uh, in general, but we got to get him back, get him a few more minutes. And then, uh, you know, I thought I was going to play Marty more. And um, we still got it, but they went so small sometimes that we just didn't do it. Uh, we, you know, we were in trouble in that way. And Thomas was playing so good. So it wasn't bad. Rotation's got to change a little bit. So there'll be more changes for Thursday or for Tuesday. All right. Thanks, Tom. You're welcome. Go to Rico Cooney. Hey, Coach, uh, talk a little bit about uh, you wanted to uh, impress more as far as going inside and uh, making that a priority. And it looked like kind of playing the inside out was was going to be a priority tonight. Uh, uh, you know, it was kind of a ride or die kind of situation here. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, we did because we knew they were doubling us and we thought we could kick it out. And that's where we got some of those threes. And we even put Aaron in there a little bit and he did a great job instead of shooting those crazy fall away he, he took it at some people. He was a man tonight. And uh, that's the way Aaron's got to play. I mean, he, uh, I'm really impressed how he played, but I'm not really surprised how he played. I just, I think that's what he can do. I mean, I'm not saying he'll get 27 every night, but I think he can hit a couple threes. I think he can get open on that break. I think he can drive it. Uh, I just like the way he showed total versatility. He guarded bigs, he guarded point guards. He drove the ball, he posted up, and he hit threes. And that's the versatility I think Aaron Henry has. We haven't seen it enough. And I told him that after the game, and I'll tell him tomorrow. But, you know, we needed to win a game, guys. It's, it's, it's not a huge win, 
but it is the first win of the new year and I'm, I'm going to make it that, but I'm not going to be satisfied with anything because that's not who we are and what we are right now. Thank you. Go to Graham Couch. Tom, you, you mentioned AJ's defense. I'm wondering though, if you, if you saw enough from him that, that he is going to be the point guard moving forward, at least as long as it looks like this offensively. Well, I would say yes, because uh, I already told you, you know, uh, we knew what Fro Frosty is. Frosty can play so many minutes and he's going to be there and, and he's going to do everything he can. He's been the best leader we've had. And I told you that I'm trying to be fair to Rocket and not put a running back at quarterback, not put a, you know, a round peg in a square hole. And, and like I said, please don't take that wrong. There might be a day when he's a great point guard here, but that spring, summer, fall exhibition games, he had no chance to develop into those things because it is changing a position. And uh, I was just pleased by the way he handled it. Um, there was no complaining. There was no this or that. He was a man about everything. And uh, I think he understands and I think he agrees. And we just got to feel a way now. We might go small sometimes and play Aaron or Gabe at the four and get more minutes for Rock in there. And uh, But AJ's got to improve a lot on some areas too. He has a great feel for the game like Denzel. He's like, he's like Denzel as a sophomore or freshman, but Denzel didn't start as a freshman or sophomore, you know? And, and I said, when you start, there's a responsibility to play both ends and his conditioning has got a ways to go, which we knew. But I think the bright spot is you can see where he has a feel for the game and a flair for it. He can get in that paint. He can make some plays. Uh, all in all, you know, I was very pleased with all he played is, you know, trying to change his body language a little bit. So he, it's just very nonchalant. And that's got to change for me and for our team. But uh, if I had to rate him and put him on the road, first game starting after playing maybe 20, 30 minutes all year, I thought he did a hell of a job, to be honest. All right, we have two final questions. We'll start with Brendan Quinn and wrap up with Fred Human. Brendan. Tom, another one on AJ. Um, obviously, because of the circumstances, we really haven't gotten to know him. Um, can you tell us a little bit about like, his personality and, and how he is going to um, kind of take on the role of a point guard, right? He's, I yeah. imagine he has to be more verbal and all yeah, that stuff. Gonna, like, oh, how does that kind of fit? How does that play out? It's going to take a lot of work because – his personality is he's a funny kid. He's a fun to be around kid. The players love him. Coaches like him a lot. You know, he, again, he had the injury, so he missed out on some things, but, but he is kind of quiet and he's kind of, you know, I call him a little bit nonchalant and that's not what I, you know, I'm used to at that position or not. That's not the way it's going to be, but I have to be understanding too, that it's going to take a little time, but, he has the one thing that uh, that I think is a lot like Denzel. He just has a feel, a flair for the game. And uh, it's just, uh, you know, we're just going to have to work at it and, and keep working at it. And he, he knows it. He wants to work at it. Um, so you, you'll enjoy him as you get to know him. And yet you'll start watching the parts that have to get better and they will get better. I mean, first start, first real playing time. He played 10 minutes at Minnesota. Other than that, he's never played much. And uh, so I think, uh, you know, this could really help us. I think too, taking some of that pressure, Rock can come in and play that position too some, maybe not as many minutes. And if I can get him 18 minutes at one and five or six at the point, now he's still getting his 20 some minutes a game too. Because we need him, you know, he's best free throw shooter on my team. Should be Foster and and uh, Joey, but they've struggled a little bit, and he's the best free throw shooter. And uh, I just, uh, I, I, I still appreciate, uh, you know, what each one of those guys can do, but every one of them does something, and yet Aaron's the only one that does everything or capable right now. And, and I, I think Josh had a pretty good all around game too. Cause he had a guard too. And I'm going to tell you now, you know, you'll think it's funny, but uh, a couple of those guys, man, hard to guard. It's hard to guard Lev and me and hard to guard Allen. He's strong. And McGowan's, I mean, he's the quickest guy. He reminded me of uh, what's his name from uh, 
where is he now? I don't know, Washington, I guess. But, uh, you know, he's as quick a point guard as we played against, and he's 6'3", and he can dunk it on everybody, as you saw. Uh, he's a hell of an athlete. Uh, so they're, they're, they're going to beat some people. I mean, they're a little wild if you ask me right now. And, and I, but I think Fred's a hell of a coach. And uh, if you can get that out of them, they've got talented kids on that team. Second question on you. Did you add, you said two part or no, that was it. No, I said the AJ okay, question. Thanks. thanks. I'll make sure you get the norm. All right. And our next one, our final question, we'll go to Fred human. Fred, you're muted. <laughs> I, said, I said, I'll promise I'll get this down by the end of the year. Can you hear me? Fred, the year ended. You don't no. mean next year, do you? I mean the season. You can hear me then. You kind, of, you, now. you kind of stole my thunder when you talked wait, about... Wait, 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 wait. I haven't laughed much tonight. That isn't your rocking chair in the background, is it? What's that? That isn't your rocking chair in the background, is it? Oh, that one? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's my one of my 11 grandkids. Okay, good. Phew. <laughs> I would crush that. I might crush this one. All right, um, go ahead. You kind of stole my thunder when you said you needed to feel uh, what a victory felt like. But, you know, once every 20 years, you lose three games in a row around here. So do you, do you sense that this can settle your team down a little bit, even though the standards are higher than just winning the uh, game at Nebraska? Yeah, I think it helps your team. I mean, it helps when you win. I mean, we shot 50-some percent, the ball went in the basket. I mean, those things all help. I just want to make sure that they understand where they are. And that means, yeah, let's feel good about a win. But, um, you know, in uh, 1995-6 season, you know, if I would have beat, um, you know, Catholic Central's fifth grade team, I'd have felt good about it. You know, times have changed. So I want to make sure they understand that was a good win, but it's not good enough. And when you have a 17-point lead, you got to learn to step on something. We did play good stretches. So now we're starting to play some good stretches and we just got to do more consistently, but uh, it'll come. I mean, the freshman quarterback, uh, that'll come and getting rocket, right? And then we got to get our bigs now. Joey's going to play better. He's, he's my big project this week because uh, he's really a good player and he's just been struggling. Now the tooth probably didn't help that first half. I don't know how bad it was. He played after that, but you just knock it out. I'm trying to ask questions as I'm talking. But uh, yeah, you know what? We won our first game. We're 1-0 in 2021. Um, that's the way I'm going to have to look at it for now. We're 7-3. and three. Uh, We did have a three-game losing streak last year, so you know. It was against three non-ranked teams, if I recall right. Um, <laughs> but we're going to play our let me see, three, four, fifth ranked team and probably our third. Uh, if they would have won today, they would have been a top 10 team. But we're going to play our fifth top 21 team already this season, and it's going to get crazier. So sit back in that little rocking chair, Fred. Ask for a real regular size one and enjoy the night. Okay, buddy? <laughs> Next time I'm asking from that chair. Thanks. Thanks, guys. You guys take care of yourself. We'll get better. Promise. All right, and I think that's it for this evening. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Thanks Matt. All right. Thanks, Matt. Bye.